Hey guys, Chris Superfast RC, and today I want to clear up some confusion on the different Sanwa transmitters and receivers, which ones are compatible with what, and uh, you know what to look for, and you know when you're looking at Sanwa transmitters and receivers, and especially with all the number of different ones there are and how confusing it can be. So there's been a lot of confusion I've seen online as far as you know what receivers, which transmitters, and uh, let's just get into it, guys. So what we've got in front of you, we've got the MXV, MTS, M12S, and I'm going to tell you about what the difference is between all three. So they look kind of similar. Um, this one's going to be definitely older. Uh, the replacement for this one is now the MX6. And guys, this is going to be very entry level crawler, RTR kind of radio. This one I've got back in like 2014 or something. It's pretty old, but it still works great. And... Um, it is what it is, guys. It's a Sanwa entry-level transmitter receiver combo. I have the, the receiver here. It is installed in my Rustler VXL. I don't really use this radio for much racing, but here's the receiver. I'm going to try and swing it in here. That is what you use with the MTS. Now, this is FHSS2 in Sanwa, and basically, that's it. This receiver or an F FHSS2 receiver is the only receivers that'll work with the MT MXV. So um, I don't know if I said that was the MXV before. This is the same one MXV FHSS2, and basically impossible to find receivers for. And um, like I said, it's kind of dated. But the replacement for that is the MX6. It's the entry level radio from Sanwa. And once again, the MX6 <laughs> uses the proprietary receiver. Uh, it uses FHE technology. I'm not sure if that's any better than FHSS2, which is what the MXV used, but and the receivers for the MX6 are very expensive. So I can't really recommend Sanwa for an entry level, the entry level line from Sanwa. Very limited receiver choices. It's not antennaless, FHE receiver. And, um, I really just can't recommend them. They're not that fast in comparison with like a good RTR remote, like the new Spectrum stuff. It's pretty good. Uh, even the TQI, it's pretty fast. And this is kind of on par with that. It's not super duper fast. Faster than something like a GT3B from Flysky, but um, definitely outclassed by some of the newer Sanwa offerings and Futaba offerings, whatever your flavor is. So an up, a step up from the MXV, and the MXV's time would have been the MT4 or MT4S. I had one of those, a great radio. It gets you into that race level, I think, transmitter receiver combo from Sanwa. Uh, FH4 being that uh, level of receiver and technology. Um, great radio, I owned one, uh, wish I still had it, but unfortunately I sold it, that was the MT4. MTS is the basically replacement for the MT4 and now the MTR, which is the new Sanwa fixed version of the MTS. Well, not fixed, kind of price fixed, guys. I'm going to tell you about that right now. Kind of disagree with what they did there. But um, so basically what happened with the MTS, MT44 radios, M12 as well. And um, yeah, so what happened was China started popping out clones of Sanwa receivers. So this is the uh, DAS Micro variant. And I have a new one in the package here. The FH3. This is a DSK482, kind of just like the RX482, right? So um, guys, this thing works great. It is no different in response time or you know features than the regular Sanwa receiver. So what happened is Sanwa caught wind of that and it said, okay, we're gonna update our technology to be a little faster and <laughs> not compatible with the knockoff receivers. So basically they changed their modulation a little bit, popped out a new computer board, stuck it in the MTS, called it the MTR and the MT44 is now the MT5. Um, yeah, so I don't really agree with that. It makes the MT5 and the MTR not compatible with anything prior San Juan, no FH4, it's all FH5. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. The receivers are $100 on the MTR, MTS, or MT5. So 
be careful. If you're looking for affordable receivers, guys, there is not much difference between MT, M, nah, MT44 and the MT5 and the MTS and MTR. Uh, the only thing difference is they're not going to be compatible with the older San Juan FH4 receivers. They say FH5 is faster, guys. I've driven one. I can't tell the difference between FH4 and FH5. The only difference is the price, in my opinion. So be careful when you're shopping for San Juan stuff. If you want to get in more budget-friendly and a lot more used receivers you can pick up on the aftermarket, and also, you know, like I think RuDog, uh, many other companies, ARX, they make ARX 482 um, receivers. Hobby Star makes receivers for the FH4. And uh, Sam, I was just like, no, we don't want to do that. We want to make it incompatible with anything else. So now we have F MTR and MT5. So with an MT5, once again, or an MTR, FH4 receivers are not compatible. So if you're looking for a good entry-level receiver to get into racing, transmitter combo, and you want affordable receivers, MTS, MT44, all day long. If you can find an MT4, that's great, too. They're getting a little old. So finding one that's not completely beat is going to be hard. Enter the M12S, M12 radios. This is the M12S RS. Uh, it's the last iteration of the M12S, I believe. Um, good radio, kind of big. I've seen this thing kind of referred to Thor's hammer as far as the transmitter goes. It's big. It's weighty. Um, I mean, look at the difference, guys, between those two. It's big. So this was Sanwa's super high level race. This is kind of the mid-grade M12S, but the M12S was the last generation of the FH4, standard FH4 transmitters from Sanwa. So you can use the knockoff ones, the genuine Sanwa ones, um, anything FH4, FH5. I think this says FH3 as well. It will not do FH2, I do not believe. I don't know why you do that anyways but like i said it's big you can find them on the aftermarket used you can find them used pretty much everywhere people are flushing them to go to the m17 which is kind of an interesting bird in itself but um yeah guys great radio it's adjustable here for throttle throttle feel direction you can get different offsets for this you can move this up and down it's completely ambidextrous you can move the wheel on this side very interesting radio from sanwa uh like I said, just kind of big and getting kind of old at this point. Maybe at the end of the season, I'll upgrade to an M17. But as far as response and feel, guys, this thing's like laser accurate. So good radio. And um, now let's kind of talk about what Sanwa has going on right now. So the top of the line radio from Sanwa at the moment is the M17. Um, M17 is an awesome radio. It is compatible with fh4 and fh5 it's native fh5 but it will talk to fh4 receivers so that's really cool um touch screen it's fast it's light a lot lighter than m12 so that's good um you can do rechargeable wireless battery mods all sorts of stuff uh, a lot of pros are using the sanwa mts and that's kind of interesting the pros are using it because and a lot of people at my track the Sanwa doesn't really do many sponsorship things unless you're like super pro level. So if you see guy a guy at your local track with a Sanwa, most likely he paid for that because he likes the feel of it and he likes the way it works. Um, so yeah, they're not cheap. The M17 is $599 for the base model with a receiver. Uh, definitely, definitely a high level radio. Like I said, it's got ultimate compatibility with FH4 and um, yeah. So guys, just to wrap this up, MXV, MX6 is not compatible with the MTS or M12 and its receivers. These are only compatible with FH4 and FH3. MXV, FH2, and MX6 is going to be FHE receivers only. I think that's RX391W. W means waterproof. Um, so yeah, these guys are going to do RX471, 472, RX481, 482. And then, like I said, you can also get the knockoff receivers, which functionally work just as good as the Sanwa receivers. In my testing, I run these antenna receivers and everything, A-scale, 10th scale, 
This is an, a good setup for a tent scale right here. You got your short transponder wire and you just strap it to the receiver, mount it to your car. Nice space efficient setup right there. So anyways, guys, just wanted to clear up any confusion you had on the Sanwa and the different transmitters, receivers, technologies that they offer and have offered in the past and what is compatible with what. So I hope this has been helpful for y'all and um, leave me a comment if you have any questions and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching guys. Bye-bye.